another way that we can model football is by focusing on the goals. Basically, if we just plot the distribution of goals scored, they come from a Poisson distribution. So, you know, the link to this site is, is in the description below the video. So the only input that you need is the average number of goals scored. So if you, you know, are halfway through the season and you know, you can see that three goals, on average, we're getting three goals a game, say. Well then, you just use that as your parameter, as your input to the Poisson distribution. And then you get the entire distribution. So you're told, you're given, how often you expect no goals to be scored, one goal to be scored, two goals, three goals, four goals, five goals, six goals, and so on. And that matches incredibly well with what we see. Now this is more than just giving us back what we told it. All we took in as input was that on average we get three goals a game. That doesn't specify how often we get no goals, one goal, two goals, three goals, four goals. You know, that's, that's far more information. But this shows that essentially football is a Poisson random number generator. That if there's no need, there's no reason why football should end up producing exactly the proportions of goals that match with Poisson. I normally would have associated Poisson with waiting for buses. So if you know that a bus on average comes every 10 minutes, then Poisson tells us how many buses we, we would expect to come in a certain period of time. So how many in 10 minutes? And that's why, you know, I don't know whether how often you get buses, but on the you do end up getting two buses coming at the same time, maybe even three. It, it's a natural consequence of randomness. So that's a significant breakthrough, significant step. How do I make money from this? Well, we can create a Poisson distribution football prediction model. Again, I have the link in the description below the video. Um, this has lots of nice content and you can look around on the web Poisson, football goals, that kind of thing. It makes some nice points here, but I'm just gonna zoom through. But do have a look at this. There are, as I said, there are multiple 
good points here. So, we're back to R. Remember, we there are lessons on R on this channel. It, it's a phenomenally powerful system. And it's free, so, you know, there's no excuse not to do it. So I just wrote a function, Poisson football model. Catchy name. So the parameters for the Poisson model are, like for this model, is the average number of goals the home team scores at home, the average number of goals the home team concedes at home. What's the average number of goals conceded at home? You know, I mean, so this is, these two are the average over the league. So how many goals the home team scores, how many goals the home team concedes. And this is the data describing the away team. So how many goals it tends to score or how many goals it scores away on average how many goals the away team concedes on average. So that way, you know, depending on what teams are playing, you, you've, you get to put in parameters which, which match. So essentially, if this home team scores 1.86 and the away team normally concedes 0.86 but normally the away team concedes one or scores 1.11 you know so there's a normal for the away team say say it normally concedes 1.11 but this team scores typically 1.86 so this team typically scores more than the average away team. So I rescale the attack and the defenses by not renormalize them basically. And you know and you know you can play around with that do come up with combinations yourself. So then this Poisson process will model the number of goals that the home team will score is expected to score and the number of goals that the away team is expected to score so you know I just have actually I'll enter the I'll have a look at the function because just I think it'll help so you know I have average away conceded blah 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 so it just goes then, once I have the data inputted, I use the R function R Poisson to generate 1000 games. So I generate the number of goals that I expect the home team to score for a, th a thousand different games. So how many goals do I expect the home team to score? Well, home scored is the average that the home team tends to score. But then I scale it by how good the away defense is. So, you know, it's all here. So then I have how many goals the home team scored in a thousand games and how many goals the away team scored in a thousand games and that is my foundation so using those thousand games that we predicted I can then generate statistics so on average, when these two teams play, 
we get 1.96 gold. Okay. The home team won 442 times. It was a draw 301 times. And the away team won 257 times. I can ask, how often were three or more goals scored? Well, 316 times. How often did both teams score? 377. On average, how, ma how many did the home team score? 1.15. How On average, how many did the away team score? 0 0.8. And of course you can just put in whatever you want. So this would be how often did the home team minus one, like how often did the home team win by more than one goal? 182 times. So this simulator lets me generate what I expect to happen in a game. And once I've, I have my simulations, I can then look at the bookies and see, hmm, do they agree with me? Do, um, is the home team expected to win? And so on. So that's just another approach that you can take to analyze football, to try and come up with predictions about who's the likelihood of win, winning, the likelihood of three or more goals, you know. This lets you estimate, predict the odds for anything we want to know. Um, it's had mixed results so far. The first five games I did, it was pretty good. I mean, I think, um, yeah, it was, it was better than I w would have expected. But then in the next five or ten, it was all over the place. So um, I'm going through a period of calibrating it, you know, just looking at, so for again this weekend's matches i'm gonna predict using the model every game and then i'm gonna record what actually happened in each of those games and then record how often was the model right how often was it wrong and so on so basically i want to see what I mean, should I bet on a home win if the signal is maybe over 700, maybe over 600? You know, like what, what is the level which tends to be correct? If we go to our good old soccernets.com site, Again, the links in the description below the video. We can get all the parameters. So, you know, say Arsenal were playing tomorrow. I can see that on average, Arsenal score 2.25 goals at home. And they concede 1.25. And I also have the league average. So on average, the home team concedes one point or scores 1.62 and concedes 1.19. And say Arsenal were going to play Bournemouth. Then I click away and I see that on average, Bournemouth concede 0 0.88 goals away and concede two goals. In fact, 
I think Bournemouth are playing Chelsea tomorrow. So on average, they score 0.88, they concede 2, while Chelsea only concede 0.5. So if Chelsea only, on average, concede 0.5, and Bournemouth only concede on average, or on, only score on average 0.88, see here, then I'd imagine that Bournemouth won't score tomorrow. Maybe the way to go is back Chelsea to win to nil, but that's another thing. So that's how it works, you know, that you, you can get all the input data from the soccer stats side, plug them into the function in R. It'll then be able to simulate a thousand games and we can see the statistics. Very Monte Carlo. I would have thought in nature. So that's just the latest update. In fact, I'm not working so much on this at the moment. It's more on the machine learning front, which looks pretty exciting since even the f first run that I did produced all kinds of interesting observations which I'd not heard of before. <laughs>